exercise 23. In this exercise, we look at pro engineer sheet metal functionality when with regards to designing cylindrical shape. As you can see here, here is actually a sample of what we're going to construct. And any time you could flatten it out and take a look at it. Okay, so let us begin. Start with a new part file. In this case, it should be a solid, not a sheet metal part. Go ahead and type in E23 and hit OK. Start on the front plane, start a sketch, and draw a circle. Dimension the circle at 2.5, and then go ahead and extrude it 2 inches. Now go to the draft tool on the right and go to references and the draft surfaces will be these two outside faces so you'll have to hold control as you select both then release control click on the draft hinge box right here and select the back face and then you could flip this arrow and then you could grab this little dot here and put in 10 degrees or type it in manually and hit done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to application, sheet metal, and under the menu manager we get the option for shell. Go ahead and select that. Hold control, select the front face, and then hold control, select the back face to be opened up. Hit OK and done refs. The uh, thickness needs to be 0.06. Hit enter. And now it's shelled. The next step is we select the front plane again, start a sketch. And now we have to make a cutout. So hit sketch, take the line tool, and right at the center, draw a little line. And have it go up a little bit above the actual diameter. And then draw a horizontal line across until it's locked into the center line. Take your center line tool now by clicking on the little arrow here. You'll see center line. It's off my screen, so you can't see it, but the center line tool is what we need. And, and right on that, what looks like a center line, draw another center line over it. And now we could go ahead, click, and drag a fence around everything. This is, of course, after you hit the middle mouse button a couple times to escape out of what you were doing. Select that geometry. Go to the mirror tool on the right. Select the center line you just drew and now you have the mirror geometry. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to add relation or constraint. With this we go ahead and select the tangent constraint option and then select this top horizontal line and the outside edge of the geometry and hit close. Double click on that dimension, type in 0.02 for 20 thousandths and then proceed to hit done and extrude. And you're going to extrude cut through all. Hit done. And now we need to unfold it. We'll use the manual switches over here. There's the little arrow here. You'll find unbend. Select that. We just want a regular hit done. And the fixed geometry will be this little edge here. That's where it's going to stay stationary and then we have unbend all and hit done. Preview it if you like or just hit OK and now you'll see it's flattened. At this point you could go ahead and you could start a sketch on it and you could put text on it or any sort of geometry that you might want. In this case I'm just going to draw a little circle in the center here or a couple. Go to Done, Extrude, Flip the Direction, and Through All. To fold it back, we now go over here to where the Bend tool was, or Unbend, and we find Bend Back. Again, we get to select Fixed Geometry. We can select this bottom edge and Bend Back All, 
and hit done and OK. And now you have your geometry created. If you ever want to bend it back and see what it looks like, you could grab this little red arrow, drag it up above, bend back, and you can see it in its flattened state. Bend it back down, you see it in its folded state. And that's it.